Howdy guys, this is CoreCat13, I'm a woman with a deep voice, and welcome back for the finale of Super Mario Bros. Last time, we beat World 5 and 6 and got our first game over. I suspect we're going to be doing that again very shortly. Because in this episode, we're in the hardest part of the game, World 7 and 8. God, I hate World 7. World 7 is a royal pain in the ass. Mostly because of these bastards right here. You also get a repeat of the underwater stage in freaking World 7 2. I'm trying to remember where the 1 up is. There it is. Ah! Made it for the life I lost, you bastard. Yeah, you guys didn't see it, but before I um, started the recording or whatever, actually. Nope, I already died once, so... There you go, we died again, now we're back to par. <laughs> but yeah, World 7 and 8, good lord. These stages right here, oh my god. They suck. Again, because of the Hammer Brothers. The Hammer Brothers are so annoying. Bullet Bills are also plentiful in this world. And I, I, ugh, it sucks. It sucks. I don't like them. I do like the snow covering the ground, though. That's nice. Although I imagine that means that the water is fucking cold that Mario is going into in the next one. Like, stop to think. What the hell? Only it's spring now. Alright. Oh, well, apparently you can swim and stuff using the A button. I didn't know that. Eh, yeah, well. I gotta watch out for these bloopers here. That was a lucky break right there, because usually I managed to get struck by the blooper. Ugh. Not gonna lie, Calamari does sound good right now. I don't know why. Probably because of these bloopers here. Oh yeah, by the way, those um, cheap cheeps that are green? Yeah, they have a different name, actually. They are called deep cheeps. Deep cheeps. Why? I don't know. Alright, gotta watch out for these bloopers here. They just want to ruin my life. And somehow we managed to get out of there mostly unscathed. By that I mean we didn't die, although I suspect we're about to die here in World 7-3 because... Yeah, you thought the last bridge level was bad? This one's even worse because you get even more cheap cheeps. You get even more cheap cheeps and you get Koopas and all that. I mean, as long as you're like paying attention or whatever, it really isn't that bad. You gotta really watch your step here. Because one bad move and you're in the pit. Or you get hit by a fish. Which, by the way, how the hell are these things even surviving? Okay, I'll accept that. I didn't mean to kill the fish, but... I'll take it, because the fish was annoying anyway. You wanna know what game I've been thinking about lately? I've been thinking about Psychonauts 2. Can't wait till we get to that game. Well, that's gonna be a long Let's Play, let me tell ya. Psychonauts 2, I think is actually a little... It's quite a bit longer than Psychonauts 1. So, I don't know how we're gonna make that work, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, on to the seventh dungeon. Yay. This one's also a maze, so... Make sure you fall in the lava. Yes, yes, that, that's what I wanted. Exactly, Mario. That's where I wanted to go. No, I was going to say put on your thinking at caps. First of all, you actually need to go below. Then here, then here. And in the All-Stars version, you will hear a ba -doop. This one, you dive down here, jump right here, jump right here, jump right here. It's as easy as that. Pretty simple maze. 
However, 8-4 on the other hand, that's a lot harder, so... Yeah, and then I died. Damn potaboo. Ah, eh, well. Ain't the end of the world yet. I mean, if I die, that just means that I get five lives again, and honestly, I could use them, so... Uh, I don't know why I was about to go down there. And to back up a little bit. Jump down here, jump up here, jump up here. Bippity bobbity boo. Alright, gotta watch out for the fireballs that are about to come my direction. Or fire breath, I guess, in this case. Alright, gotta watch out for the fire here. Ha ha! See you later, asshole. How dare you impersonate the great and powerful Bowser. Alright, last set of mushroom retainers. One world left to go, and it's the hardest one. Probably going... Yeah, I did that on purpose. That way we can just start off with, like... That way we can just start off with five lives instead. Plus, fun fact, if you die, actually, it resets the extra life. So, yeah, use that to your advantage, actually, if you end up, like, in a really shitty situation or whatever and you just entered the world, all you have to do is get a game over, and then the extra life just respawns. So now we have six lives. Let's see here. Yeah, somehow I knew. Yeah, I didn't mention before, but there's these little bonus areas that you can find by hitting certain pipes. This is actually a repeat of one from World 1-2. I just didn't go down it because... why? But this stage is pretty difficult to begin with, so I figured that we could use all the help we can get. Yes, by the way, there are no mushrooms in this stage. There are power-ups, don't get me wrong, there's a star man later on, but there are no mushrooms this time around, so you have to be real careful. Strike the third block there, and get ready to run! Take a dump upon the take a dig a dump a don on don 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 boo ba bee ba 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 boo ba bee. Yeah, that was probably really off key. I'm sorry. That was part right here makes my asshole clench. That that stopped me from being able to beat the game for a while just because of the way that's situated. I do like that there are little chunks of land there. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't make a good time, but whatever. I don't care. Now we're getting to another pain in the ass. This stage! Oh, yay! Although, hint, if you stand right there, the Koopa will literally just jump over you, so use that to your advantage. And if you kill the Lakitu, it actually doesn't come back, so... Yeah. Yeah, how you like that, bitch? Alright, watch out for these Koopas here. Jump up here, grab yourself an extra life. Yeah, so now we have seven going into the last level, so that's good. There's a shroom right here, if you are careful. There we go. Fortunately, the game kind of pauses there for a second to let you become Super Mario. Yeah, watch out for these bullets here. Because, you know, you don't get any bullet time, let me tell you. Alright, now step right here. And there you go. That part right there is actually harder than it looks. You really do need to build up enough momentum to get over. And it is beyond annoying. And it took me a long time to figure out how to do that. I think I actually needed a walkthrough to figure out how to jump over that. But, well, there you go. That's how you do it. I do like the hills in the background for a different color this time, kind of indicating that we're heading into a different part of the world, so... Now we're heading off to Castle Bowser! I do like the new background that actually incorporates more of the actual structure. Parallax scrolling! Alright, watch out right here because the Hammer Brothers... Well, they're just gonna keep throwing shit at ya. 
Oh, and he got me. I was actually trying not to get hit by them because right here is a mushroom. I was trying to get a fire flower because if you get a fire flower, it makes the final level much easier. And makes the rest of this stage right here far easier to deal with. And I shrink anyway. Oh, well. Alright, strike the block right there. Grab a shroom. It's not perfect going into the last level, but... Eh, whatever. You can actually conk this guy right there. And if you're fast, you can actually kill the Hammer Brothers that way. Now watch right here. That was stupid. Why'd you do that, Mario? No, don't blame Mario for your follies. Oh yeah, I should mention that in World 8, there are no checkpoints. Yeah, you die, you get sent back to the beginning. Ain't that lovely? Although, that means that I get a second chance at trying to grab that fire flower, so... Oh, that was, that was stupid. Alright, back to par, that's fine. <sighs> Just take a sigh. I do like the little speed lines that the bullet bills have now. That was fucking bullshit. That Hammer Brothers... Ugh, fuck that thing. Fuck Hammer Brothers, they are annoying. As I conk that thing out. With the bullet. Alright, and yeah, you jump down there. Come on, jump back up, jump back up, get out of here. Keep throwing your hammers. Yeah, keep doing it. I wish I could say I had all day, but I don't. That's why I'm recording Super Mario Brothers Evolution of Gaia. Also, just because I wanted to do something a little different. And oh my god, what the hell? Get out of here. Dude, nobody likes you, Hammer Brother. Well, I'm certain somebody does, but I don't. Alright, bye-bye! Yeah, about to my bouncy abilities. Alright, yeah, just keep running, and the Hammer Brothers will just die. Damn it! I got kissed by a Hammer Brother. Oh well, this is the last world, so I guess I shouldn't expect anything less. Alright. Oh sure, now you jump up there, you bastard. Oh yeah, I should- Oh, what? That was not cool. Man. Yeah, I forgot how tough the stage was. Especially right at the beginning. Dude! 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 What the hell? I bonked him. I done bonked him. The hell? That's just mean. That's just rude. I mean, I expect nothing less. He's a bad guy, but shit. Get out of here. Get out of here with your bad self. Uh-huh. That's right. I'm Mario. What I say goes. Alright. Now we're big again, so we gotta watch out for that paratrooper. That way we don't lose our size again. So if I can keep my size and we're good for the final level, then we could probably just do that in one shot. Not be confused with the game of the same name. Alright. Yeah, yeah, keep throwing your hammers. There you go. That's it. Ah! Damn it. I was hoping that it would keep my size. Alright, that's fine. As long as he stays on the middle layer there, I don't care because then I can actually kill him. But now we gotta jump on the Koopa and kill these bastards. Yeah! That's right! Alright, now we gotta watch for these Hammer Brothers here. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Bye-bye. That's what I wanted to do. I was waiting for him to jump so that I can run under him. I mean, we're at a bit of a disadvantage right now, but... Eh, I've been in worse. Not 
time to take a dump. Alright, last level. Here we go. Alright, gotta inch my way forward. There we go. This is gonna put your skills to the test, so you gotta be really careful. Oh, they do actually have different pallets underground. They're inside castles. Alright, gonna watch out for this platform here, trying not to fall. Boop. Alright, the moment you see this pipe, jump down. Because big shock, this is a maze. Apparently it's night now. That's why the castle corridors are so dark. Our Bowser's a fan of black. But you know what? Fair. Alright. There we go. Bye bye. Whew. Now this part right here can be annoying because now you got fish. There we go. As long as I can survive with my mushroom, I should be okay. Alright. No, I don't know why there's fire bars underwater. That makes no sense, but it's Mario, so who cares? Right, come on, blooper. Come this way. Come this way, buddy. Oh, and he got me. I'll go figure. I almost never get out of there unscathed, so... To do so would be very... Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that was inevitable. So, I will meet you in just a little bit. Okay, let's try this one more time. I have seven lives to burn, so we should be good. Now, if I can actually get to the end of the stage without dying once, that'd be lovely. So then, yeah. I do find it kind of annoying that they don't at least provide a power-up in this castle. I mean, hell, even in the later Mario games, they do that. Well, even in Mario 3, they did that, so it really isn't just like, Oh, new games are easier. No, Mario 3. I mean, that game's pretty tough, too, but... Even Mario 3 had power-ups. There we go. I mean, to be fair, the tank before the final castle is a pain in the ass, but still. Right, watch out for these fish. And then I got kissed in the ass anyway. Damn fish. Well, going in naked again. Just gotta watch out for these fire bars here. Gotta lure the blooper. Fire bars, I see you. You ain't touching me. I know Mario looks mighty tasty, but I don't recommend it. Unless you like greasy Italian sausage. Okay, out we go. I'm gonna watch out for the hammers here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Bye bye. Alright, now I'm gonna watch out for Bowser here. Wait for him to jump. Bye bye. Yeah, that's right, Bowser. Kiss my ass. And my, this looks different. Unfortunately, Princess Peach was nice enough to provide us with a shroom. That way, she can properly kiss us. Aww. Well, after all that hell, I'm pretty certain Mario definitely needed it. Let me tell ya. Alrighty, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, sorry things kind of fell off the deep end with this last video, let me tell you. But yeah, Super Mario Brothers, still a classic. And, well, not really a whole lot left to say. That hasn't already been said already. I guess the next time we meet in the Mario Marathon, we're going to be doing the U.S. version of Mario 2. See you then.